it's kind of overcast today. I haven't checked the weather. Oops, sorry. Didn't even show you anything. Uh, I haven't checked the weather, but hopefully it gets sunnier. Or I guess this is fine if it stays this way. So today is Keith's birthday. He's 50 sexy plus one. <laughs> so, but he's a little under the weather. He has sinusitis. He had to go into the doctor the other day and uh, he got a prescription and stuff. We have to stop and um, it's affecting like his eye. So we have to stop and get drops. Um, and yeah, and then we're heading to St. Augustine and we're going on an adventure. We're going on an airboat ride. And I have wanted to do that since last year. If you don't know, sorry, it's hot in here. Uh, I, um, when I was in Louisiana, that was a thing I wanted to do. And, but when I was there, I don't know if you remember, um, I ended up staying there overnight. It was New Year's Eve. And, uh, of course, when I got there, they were closed for like the whole weekend plus a day because of the holiday weekend. And I had to get back on the road. And so, uh, I missed that chance. And I think I've tried a couple other times, like I would look it up to see if I was anywhere close to where I could do that. Do you remember what was that, uh, the bear and the guy on the boat ride? Oh, what was that called? I know you'll remember. I remembered it before. Grizz not Grizzly Adams. Um, anyway, you'll know where the guy rode the boat, the, the air boat through. I can still remember he had a big mustache and dark hair. Um... But yeah, so we're going on an airboat ride <laughs> and it's warm here. And um, so we're meeting at Beaches. It's a nice restaurant on the beach, hence the word. And so we're gonna meet there to have a nice lunch for Keith. And then at 3.30, we are going on the airboat ride. They tried to kick us off. We had made the reservations in the beginning of the week. And I guess they said that they had boat problems and they wrote Keith and he's like, nope. It's my birthday because they want to move us to Sunday. So they moved us to 3.30, which has actually turned out better because we were supposed to be there at noon today. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing. And uh, I'm going to finish this up because I'm going to turn. I have a fan. John lent me his fan, so I have that on. And then I turn on up here. And so, yeah, sweating. So, okay, let's go. Let's go on an airboat ride. I hope I enjoy it. So we're going through, well, not the Everglades, but, uh, you know, hopefully we'll see alligators and a bunch of stuff. So taking you with, oh, and the new, somebody wrote me and it was like, bing, Charlie. It's Chuck and Charlie, the Chuck and Charlie show. So Charlie, welcome to the family. You know how like when something just hits you and it's like, that's it. Cause nothing ever felt like right. And so it's Charlie. I've christened him Charlie, or he's non-binary. They both are. So they're both Chuck and Charlie. So they're really fast. They made fast friends. Okay, let's go. Let's go on an adventure. Come on, get in the back. Scooch over, both of you. Everybody's getting in. Here we go. So we're at Keith's birthday lunch. Say hi, Keith. Hi, Keith. And who do you got in your lap there? Ooh, I got Brenton, my birthday bear. <laughs> Rough right here. John, Gail, and look at a beautiful view. We're in St. Augustine right now, and then we're going on the airboat. So we're going to enjoy lunch. Cheers to Keith's birthday. Oh, God. And here we go. He's got a camera. He's got our food. I got the black and chicken wrap. What'd you get, Keith? What did you get? I got the uh, mahi mahi. Mahi mahi. We got the shrimp tacos. Shrimp tacos with tater tots. <laughs> to his birthday dinner. What a good beard dad. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, we're toasting to Keith's birthday before we go on the airboat ride. Happy Ooh. birthday. Happy, Happy birthday, Keith. 50 sexy plus, plus one. one. How does it feel? Fantastic. Fantastic, yeah. yep. And I'm gonna show you the water. It is warm. What's the tip? 84? Uh, 84. 84. Oh, look at how pretty that is. And he looked at White Bear and it said it's 24 there. So, there's this boat. Oh, there it is right there. That's the coolest boat. Let me put my drink down. And I don't know what's on the top of it there. What is that? Is that a fishing, like a fishing perch or something? Somebody let me know. I thought that was cute. Look at all these lily pads. And yeah, we're gonna go on the sea serpent. Uh, yeah, it's pretty here. There's a nice breeze. And yeah, we're in St. Augustine. <laughs> John cheering. There goes the sexy 57 year old Keith. And yeah, we're ready to ride. Here comes the sea serpent boat, the airboat that we're going to be going on. Oh, it's packed. Oh, I want to sit in front. Looks like there's a couple people waiting. Yeah, that's what we're going on. Bring it on. So I wanted to show you the sign. It says, warning, alligators may be present. And I don't know if you saw this past week, but there was an 85-year-old lady walking her dog uh, next to pond or something and uh, an alligator popped out grabbed her dog she went to grab the dog out of his mouth and he ate her instead so i'm taking that seriously yeah. all right you're gonna it's gonna okay, you ready for your birthday ride <laughs> <laughs> this is not um stable but you have hands everywhere okay here we go here we go one mic. Here we go. One mic. Right, everybody smile. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know about this here.
Good morning. Although it's afternoon. I don't know. I think it's like three something. Three thirty. Uh, it's hot. I just got in the car. I just did my laundry, so I'm just waiting for it to cool off in here. And I thought I'd wrap up this video because I forgot. So. Uh, yeah, yesterday uh, was really fun. It was a long day. Keith and I didn't get back until uh, 8.30, something like that. So that was a long day, but we had a really fun time. And um, yeah, uh, and then today I slept in till nine, which felt so good. Went outside and Keith was sitting there and we had coffee and Keith made waffles and he has one of those little waffle makers. And um, his has a sand on top of it. So you know, puts a little stamp of Santa in there. So those are good. And then, yeah, just like home stuff. Oh, and I got my uh, cruise uh, application in. So hopefully um, it's all good and uh, we'll see what happens. I'm actually excited if I got the job. I've been watching videos on cruise life and uh, yeah, it seems pretty interesting. And what the heck? I mean, like I said, I knew that, uh, you know, my next year isn't going to be like van life like this. And I said, I didn't know what it was going to look like. Well, maybe it looks like that. And I was talking to Keith yesterday as we were driving and I said, um, you know, somebody said that you seem like a kid again when I was riding the e-bike. And that's exactly how I feel. You know, we had a cabin that we went to every weekend. We were in the water all day long you know, from morning to night and just loved it. And I feel now like I've come back around to that and I see my future, even before this, uh, by the water, in the water, um, or on the water. <laughs> um, and Keith's the same way, you know, he's scuba dives and, um, and I just think that there's a lot to learn being in the water, on the water, under the water. Uh, yeah, so I'm really looking forward to, I don't know, hopefully that happens. Send good vibes. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna wrap this up. Uh, I went to the gym, took a shower, you can't really tell. <laughs> Just let my hair dry naturally. Went to Walmart, did some grocery shopping, and what did I do? Then I came to the laundromat. So it's been a full day. I still have stuff to do at home. It's my day off. Uh, but, yeah. Okay. You know what to do. Oh, did you see two? Squirrel! Next week, um, we're going on a, a ship, a sailing ship. And uh, it was from the captain I met when I was at the dinner table. He was sitting at the dinner table. And he was saying they have a ship in Georgia. And it goes to these islands. I forget the name of the islands. Anyway, uh, I reached out to him and then I had called. He had to email me back and then I talked to him and we're going to go there next Saturday. And it's like a big, it's a tall ship. And that's where I met him at the tall ship conference uh, with the sails and stuff. Never been. I am so excited. So Keith's going, John's going, Gail's going. So we're all going to go. So that's next. Oh, and I got invited to, um, it was just in the laundromat and Wendell Foxman uh, and I don't know if he was his manager came up to me his name was D uh, and there's wrestling next week on March 11th or not next week whenever a couple weeks the Baker County Fairgrounds so let's see if I can talk Keith into going I don't know if it's John's cup of tea but um, but yeah and then we were talking about, if you don't know, I'm a big wrestling fan. I don't like to watch wrestling. I love to watch wrestling documentaries. So we were talking about, I said, oh, the resurrection of Jake the Snake and Reza Ramon, who just passed away, and um, Diamond Dallas Page. I actually just watched his, um, it's on Netflix. I just watched his documentary, just I think like last week, um, and China and, uh, you know, uh, just all them. Ric Flair, we were just talking. They said that he just, I didn't know, he just got in the ring again at 75 and he was bleeding all over. But anyway, he said, but you didn't know when you looked at me that I know so much about wrestling and wrestlers. 
Okay, go on, make an adventure, no matter how big or how small. You do not have to sell everything and move into a van. It can be hot and you'd look like this. <laughs> uh, but you can go out, go call someone you love. And as Joyce says, tell them that you love them. And don't you dare forget your magic. And so it goes. I will see you in the next one.